The time is 5 o'clock and here's the world news at 5. First, the top stories. Ogun completes sharing of 20 local government assets with 37 LCDAs. Oshibaju directs service chiefs to relocate to Medjugorje. Northern governors meet in Kaduna to take position on restructuring. The residency plans to send 2018 budget bill to National Assembly in October. Court disqualify Pakistani Prime Minister from holding public office. Venezuela bans street protest ahead of controversial Sunday fall. I am Toby Joseph, bringing you the news in details shortly. Ogun State Government has completed the sharing of assets between the state's 20 local government and the newly created 37 local council development areas, LCDAs. Local government and Chieftain Affairs Commissioner Chief Jide Ojuko, who made this known during the daybreak show on Rock City FM, says the asset sharing process was completed two days ago. Ojuko explained that the asset sharing committee received only three major complaints and two minor complaints from agitated local governments and LCDs who felt shortchanged in the asset sharing formula. He named the local government and local council development areas with complaint as Biwa North Local Government and Okyobu LCDA, which according to him have been resolved. Most of the councils, according to him, expressed satisfaction with the sharing formula, while some of the agitated council chairmen were directed to forward their complaints to the asset sharing committee. The commissioner also explained that the ministry has completed a compilation of names of values in the state. Once we do that, our database is improved. We now give the responsibility to each national council to monitor them. And that if anything happens, we will hope to apprehend many community well and ensure sure determine those that are good, those that are not good, the multiple ones. Those that have state government says it is carrying out the audit of its manpower, including doctors and other health workers at hospitals, preparatory to fresh recruitment. The proposed recruitment of doctors and other health workers is coming amidst a threat by doctors at the state hospitals to embark on half the duties as on August 1. If the state government fails to meet their demands. The strike is planned to protest an acute shortage of doctors, inadequate and dilapidated equipment and facilities in public hospitals, as well as poor remuneration. The health commissioner, Dr. Babatole Paye, in an interview with Roxy FM in Abelta, says the ongoing audit of manpower in public hospitals in the state will end in September. The buyer says this will be followed by the recruitment of doctors to reduce the workload on the workforce in the state health sector. The commissioner who admitted that there is shortage of medical and health workers for the state hospitals. However, says the numbers of doctors needed is below the number being quoted by the Nigerian Medical Association. For instance, the commission explained that out of over 300 nurses in the state hospitals, about 100 are on study leave. The state government, according to him, has also given some of the state hospitals autonomy to recruit medical doctors who will be paid from their internally generated revenue idea to address the shortage of doctors. There are uh, many state hospitals, but we also know that they call more than the doctors in the hospital as far as the infrastructure, and we know that uh, we need to replace some of these people when we are replacing them, so it may not be enough, but it's not as bad as we just all the service chiefs are relocating to Abuja to Medjugorje to check the renewed attacks by Boko Haram fighters in Borno State. Acting President Yemir Shibadu issued the directive in the wake of the recent ambush by terrorists for the exploration team of the Nigerian National Patrol Corporation and NPC, which left several people dead. Defense Minister Mansour Danali made this known to the State House correspondent after a meeting of the acting president with the military chiefs at the presidential villa, Abuja. At a meeting where the defense minister, defense chief of staff, as well as chief of army staff, chief of naval staff, and the chief of air force, the minister says that Oshimaju asked the service to return to the military command center in Medjugorje to consolidate military gains against the insurgent and source for surveillance equipment to see distant attackers heading towards troops' locations. 
Dana Lee also says the rainy season is hampering military operations, making it difficult for troops to dominate the northeast region to stop ambushes by Boko Haram fighters. An insurance and risk management consultant, Al Haji Taufik Oshundara, has emerged as the new chairman of the state chapter of the Chartered Insurance Institute of Nigeria. Oshundara, with 39 votes, defeated Olua Femi Dankwo who polled 28 votes at the election held at the Institute State Secretariat in Kobakwe at Belkota, while Awutude Peter of Anko Insurance PLC was elected to the state vice chairman. Other new officers elected include Daguru Raymond of Aiko Insurance PLC as a general secretary, or Detayo Adishala of Regents Alliance PLC as assistant general secretary. For Wabaji Abiodu of Ico Insurance PLC as Financial Secretary and Akela Yobami of the Standard Alliance Group as the Treasurer. Also elected are Olani Wabatuli of IGI Insurance PLC as a Public Relations Officer, Sadiku Adekule of Media Assurance PLC as an Auditor, while Ukubena Mumi of Gold Link Insurance PLC was re elected for the third term as the Education Secretary. The new chairman promised to improve on the physical development of the Institute's state secretariat by providing a befitting hall for meetings and other social events. Northern state governors are meeting in Kaduna to adopt a position for the North on the issue of restructuring. Governor Mino Misari, at the take up of the meeting, which has been attended by top traditional rulers, says the North is not afraid of restructuring and will adopt a position on it today. Misari, however, warns that North is disturbed over a version of the proposed restructuring seeking to put the region at strategic, economic, and political disadvantage. The governor, who explains that there are other versions of restructuring, also called for a consensus on how to tackle the growing threat posed by the national security by clashes by headsmen against farmers nationwide. The Senate has called for an urgent review of the formula for sharing revenue from the federation account by three tiers of government. The Senate, which passed the resolution following a motion by Adamo Ailero, asked the Revenue Mobilization, Allocation and Fiscal Commission, RMAFC, to review the current sharing formula to increase the takeoff of the state and local government. Ailero told his colleagues that the lifespan of the revenue sharing formula, which will be five years, have been in operation before 1999. They asked the presidency to table the new revenue insurance proposal to be produced by RMAFC before the National Assembly for deliberation and passage into law. The presidency had promised to send the 2018 appropriation bill to the National Assembly in the first weeks of October. Budget and National Planning Minister Senator Udo Duma made the snow in Abuja at a public dialogue on the 2018 to 2020 medium term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper with top government officials, members of civil service organizations, and the organized private sector. The minister explained that the planned early presentation of the budget bill is aligned with provisions of the Fiscal Responsibility Act and to facilitate the early deliberation and passage of the bill by the National Assembly. The ongoing 2017 budget was presented by President Mohammed Buhari before the National Assembly in December 2016. You're still listening to the World News of 5 on Rock City 101.9 FM. Up next, we bring you foreign business and sport news. Please do stay with us. The Supreme Court has disqualified Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif from holding public office following an investigation into corruption allegations. The ruling comes after a probe into his family's wealth following the 2015 Panama Papers down, linking Mr. Sharif's children to offshore companies. One of the judges at the Supreme Court, Ajaz Abzal Khan, said that Mr. Sharif was no longer eligible to be an honest member of the parliament. The court has recommended anti-corruption cases against several individuals, including Mr. Sharif, his daughter, Miriam, and her husband, Sabdar, Finance Minister, Isha Kaddar, and others. No civilian Prime Minister of Pakistan has ever completed a five-year term. Venezuela has banned protests that could disturb or affect Sunday's controversial election for a new constituent assembly. Interim Minister Nestor Reverol 
Some prison terms of between 5 and 10 years could be imposed on those contravening the ban. More than 100 people have been killed in protest-related violence since April, which the opposition regards as a move towards dictatorship. A 48-hour general strike is currently taking place. At least 40 people have been injured, five of them seriously, after a train crash at a station in the Spanish city of Barcelona. The incident happened during the morning rush hour at a France station in the city center. Dozens of emergency personnel were sent to the station, with most of the injured being treated at the platform. Reports said the train did not break when entering the station, hitting the buffers at the platform. In business, Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation NNPC has announced the suspension of its crude oil exploration activities in the Lake Chad Basin in the Northeast region. The decision followed the ambush of its personnel, including consultants from the University of Medjugorje, by Boko Haram fighters, which led some of them and soldiers escorting them dead. Petroleum Resources Minister of State Ibi Kajiko, addressing Eastman in Abuja, says search for oil in the Axis will be put on hold until the military give adequate security clearance for NNPC personnel and officials. NNPC, according to the minister, resumed oil exploration in the basin to increase Nigeria's proven oil reserve of over 37 billion barrels after assurance of security by the military following the degradation of Boko Haram forces in the Axis. The oil exploration is taking place around Mongolo, Gobio, Nogumbiri, Kukawa, Adam, and Mobai in Boro State. Finally, the World News of Five Sport News. Former Super Eagles of forward Chine Duobasi has left Chinese second division club Shenzhen FC to join Swedish club AIG. Obasi was shot to limelight at the 2015 FIFA Under 20 World Cup, terminated his contract with the Chinese office to rejoin AIG. He previously played for AIK in 2016 before moving to Shenzhen. In January 2017, Obasi has been presented the number 20 jersey and now with the Swedish Football Association for registration and clearance. He is expected to be to report in Sweden on August 1 to begin club duties again according to the AIK's website. That was the news of five. And just before we go, the major stories once again. Ugdu State completes sharing of 20 local government assets with 37 LCDAs. Shibaju directs service chiefs to relocate to Medjugorje. Northern governors meet in Kaduna to take position on restructuring. Presidency plans to send 2018 budget bill to National Assembly in October. On the foreign scene, we told you that the Pakistani courts have disqualified the Prime Minister Nawaz Shabi from holding public office. Venezuela has banned street protest ahead of controversial Sunday poll. For more stories and to listen to us live, please log on to our website www.roxytfmradio.com forward slash live. Thank you so much for listening. I am Toby Joseph. Good evening.